Well, the sun in the forecast today is a great day to throw on a hat and get outside. Well, of course. And as if you needed another reason, it is National Hat Day. Did you know that? ABC 15's Brandon Hamilton joins us with Heritage Hats. And Brandon, they're still making for hats the old fashioned way. Yeah, they are keeping the old traditions alive. Take a look at these old wooden tools here. These actually date back to 1912 to the original hat shop in downtown Phoenix. It was called Athens Hat Works inside the old Adams Hotel. This is what they still use to form the hats today down at Heritage Hats. This is the owner right here, Rich Glisson. Happy National Hat Day. Thank you. So, how many different styles and different hats do you have down there at the store? Uh, styles, I would say we have. Probably about 225, 250 styles. Wow. There's probably three and a half to four thousand hats in the store at all times. And you have all different varieties from fedoras to cowboy hats. You name yeah, it, right? right? At this time of year, Panama's because of the Phoenix Open coming up, the Bear Jackson Show. The Panama's in our desert uh, environment are the most popular hats I sell, as long as the uh, the fedoras and you know all the kind of um, costume hats that we carry in the store. We have hiking hats, leather hats. Wow. I've seen the wall of Western hats, the old fashioned cowboy hats. I right. love those. Yeah, we have a lot of old This West guy down fashion. here, he's the fedora man, Terrence Forsyth. I hear you have a pretty mm. large collection of fedoras. Yes, I have about 58 hats, uh, different colors and different styles. What's your favorite part about the fedora? Why do you like that one uh, so much? I like uh, to be able to tip the hat down, there you go. pull the brim down. A classic gentleman hat. Right. You've made some hats for some big name people, haven't you, Rich? Yes, I used to make hats for President Reagan. I made a lot of hats for uh, George Burns, wow. the cast of Glee, and of course all the local theaters in Phoenix. That's uh, so great. I make a lot of hats for them. And quickly, I want to get this out there. All through March, you're asking people to bring in canned goods to your store. Why is that? Right. Uh, next door to our, our store is a food bank that um, basically gives out food for children. And they're running low because after Christmas season, that type thing. So we're asking people if you will bring in some canned goods to our store. And when you purchase a hat, we are going to make a donation to Wounded Warriors Project, uh, the local chapter for Wounded Warriors here. That's so great. Rich, thank you so thank much. You. Terrence, great to see you. So Heritage Hats, they're located on Cave Creek Road between Greenway and Thunderbird, keeping the old-fashioned hats alive. So again, National Hat Day, it's a great place to celebrate. All right. Thanks, Brandon, for that.